Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to a new series. This is Race to the North. It's a series which many of you... Oh, these mountains have completely ruined that. Yes, it's a series that many of you have been uh, have been asking for. Obviously, we have now completed East Yorkshire, so we will be working on Race to the North, which is a long and thin map which starts in the north at the bottom of the map all the way up to the south at the top of the map. Okay, I'm being a bit ridiculous there, but you get the idea. It's set in the UK, all the places and towns are realistically placed-ish. How can you forget Doncaster? Just about here. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, yeah, we are going to be starting in the year 1850 and hopefully making a really, really good series out of this. Now, there have been many of you that have suggested this, so I hope you're all going to enjoy it. Uh, we're going to try and keep some level of realism on this particular map uh, in terms of realistic train routes. However, obviously, there is no point in me having London Waterloo, for example, to serve only Southampton and Portsmouth, Victoria to do Brighton, Hastings, uh, you know, Charing Cross to do Chatham, all of that. We'll probably just have one terminal in the south. As for the north, it would be better to have two terminals like King's Cross and Euston. But again, trains coming out of London will be going to Peterborough, or Northampton if they're going up the west coast, so again it would probably make sense to just have the one terminal. But we will see how we get on. Now, obviously the year is 1850, we're not going to have enough money to start with trains, we never do. Uh, however, or to start with passenger trains should I say, what we're going to look at doing first is, uh, is a bit of freight. Because London is obviously the centre of the universe when it comes to Britain's railways. If it doesn't go through London it's not important, that, that is the end of it. Um, so London is a city which we really, really want to grow. Uh, in terms of the actual city list, is London is London big? Uh, no, as it turns out, Birmingham is the biggest city, which is just located up here. Now, uh, what we're going to do first of all, as I say, is get some uh, some food production going to London to grow it. We're also then going to turn our attention to try and get some machines into London. We've got a machines factory there, as it happens, which is good. That needs steel and wood. So, uh, yeah, then London is getting everything it needs so it can start growing early on. It also means, because we're moving goods, uh, moving freight, that, uh, that we should be able to make a fair bit of cash early on. So, let's get... Uh, let's get that going. Now, I'm using the same mods that I usually use. Uh, some of you will say, well, what mods are those, Joe? You never put a mods list on. I know, I'm not very good at it. But, um, but yeah, that's that's that. That's it. Yeah, discussed. Excellent. Right, we're going to put this on here and take some food up to Reading Food Processing Plant. Sort of that way. I'm missing out that one so that we can carry the grain a little bit further, make a bit more money early on, and then we'll maybe truck into London. That would make sense. There's a fair, yeah, there's a fair amount of uh, bread requirements in London, isn't there? So we're going to go with the old fashioned track for now. So uh, when we get later on in the game, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll go for a bit of 40. Lovely. We're going to try and keep it as flat as we can. Right, okay, 75. Keep that flat. How's that going to work if I just drag that across there? Is it going to uh, is it going to do quite well? It is actually. That's that's absolutely fine. I thought that it was going to cost a lot of money, so we'll do that so it can stay at seventy-five. Now, obviously, we'll have to double check these level crossings. Uh, I'll unpause the game as well. How's that? Whoa! Where's the the lag? The lag of everything starting to move all of a sudden. I've gone round and loaded this map in. Stop lagging. Yeah, I just want to make sure that the level crossings do look correct. That there's no sort of weird uh, things going on yet. That's lovely. And that is all we need into the food processing plant. Excellent. Now, are we going to go with... Um... Yeah, we can't really do that, can we? I was going to say, are we going to go with one depot? That would be interesting. Certainly would be interesting, wouldn't it? Um... Yeah, do you know what? We're going to go for one depot. We're going to go for one depot... And to make things interesting, I've not decided. I'm, I'm really, I'm making this up as we go here. It's going to be in Reading. There we go. We can move the depot. That's going to be a rule. We can move the depot at a later... Actually, no, sod it. That's, that's... Well, we can move the depot. It's going to have to be here, in Reading, by the food processing plant. I'm going to place it next to, next to this station. But obviously, if I want to grow this station, we'll, we'll move the depot to, like, here. So, yeah, there we go. That's my little get-out clause. So long as it's in the Reading vicinity, 
we will be fine. Right, okay. So we're going to go from Brighton to Reading. That's it. Uh, train. No, no, no. Right, where are we? Train. Reading. Grain. That'll do. Train Reading Grain. Oh, it all just sort of works, that, doesn't it? We might also train that up or build a road. I don't know. It depends uh, what's what's easier near at the time. Right, what trains have we got? So, uh, 60 mile an hour. 60 mile an hour, but can count, you know, is a little bit more powerful. It's even more powerful. Yet yeah, can only do 45. I mean, this is a freight train, isn't it? So we're going to want sort of maximum power. 45 mile an hour will be fine, because when you think the cargo wagons, uh, is that that does grain. That can only do 40. Gondola can only do 31. The British Goods Wagon can do 60 and can carry all cargo. But that three plank open wagon is going to look awesome. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Should we go with 60, 60 doodars? There we go. Right, red and grain, out you come. We're, uh, we're being fairly quick with this to get things running, get things moving. Look at that, right. Hopefully that's not going to have a cover over the top. If it doesn't have a cover over the top, that will be better because we'll see the grain in there. And I, I love it when you can see the grain at the top, the little yellow. It's always been uh, a favourite of mine when I was playing like Open TTD. I preferred transporting grain so you could see an iron ore and coal so that you can see when, you know, when the hoppers are full. Right, off we go. We can, uh, we can whiz up to uh, 45 miles an hour now. Oh, sorry, 40. I think, can the wagons only do 40? Yeah, that was, uh, that was what we said. I'm going to go with some trucks into London. That's going to be where we're, uh, where we're going with this. Can we get everything from there? No. Right, we can get everything at this side of town, and then we'll go there as well. Bit of both. How's that? We'll go for, the, uh, go for this. Right, 30 metres. And then we can add anything else on if we need, if we need to later on. There we go. So that's going to connect to the food. Then we'll put a, uh, a food line... This will be truck, London food. Because this at Reading we could actually have, because, I mean, London... Yeah, you see, I was thinking it would be nice to have, like, a big distribution hub from Reading for the south. We're thinking a bit big at this stage, aren't we, really? And um, all of London's factories we could transport to the hub and have loads of freight going out of Reading. That would look really cool, to be honest with you, and we'd set our stall out early for that. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Because this is obviously a very lengthy map, it would be great to have sort of distribution hubs for the freight trains. Yeah. Yeah. I'm liking that. That is going to be a challenge for us. Right, okay. We haven't actually got any vehicles running. Uh, right. Vehicle, 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 vehicle. We'll have a depot in Reading. Let's actually just borrow a bit of cash. Oh, we're starting with no loan. That is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome indeed. As always, if you do want to download this map, there is a, a link in the description where you can do so. Come on, five, there we go. We'll have ten of them on this circuit. They'll space themselves out eventually, won't they? We can always add more if needs be. Righty-o, so how many have we got waiting? Forty-three. See, that's not going to uh, that's not going to quite cut the mustard, but it will. Uh, I and mean, it's producing two hundred at the moment, and we are shipping the full amount. So uh, yeah. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to stop this train for the time being, and then start him again. See if we can get the sixty. So we'll be going back with a full load. That will be good. What I want to happen is us to actually start making some cash fairly early on. Right, I'm going to repay some of that 500 grand there. Uh, yeah, you see, we started with 5 million. That's, that's the starting capital there. With no loan, that's brilliant. That's really, really good indeed. 58. Come on, 60. Let's go for 60. 
59. 60. Brilliant. Right, it's going to be going back full. Excellent. Come on, let's have some grain in these uh, these wagons. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Aha! Look at that. Brilliant. I mean, let's face it, most of this grain will blow out the top. Ah, we're, we're not actually getting fast enough, are we, to, to, uh, to warrant grain blowing away? Right, off we go. Full steam ahead. Let's have a bit of fast forward. Bit of fast forward just to get it there and, uh, and see that first payday. Of course, this is going to make 30 items of food. Anywhere else we can transport it. Redding doesn't want it. Excellent. I could actually see, by the time we finish this series, London and Reading sort of merging into one. That'd be fairly cool, wouldn't it? Into some sort of mega city. That would be awesome. At this moment in time, we're playing with the uh, with the timeline at normal speed. Look at this. Right, let's have a big payday. Come on, big payday. 704,000. And we can repay our loan. There we go. Loan is repaid. That's awesome. Right, how many have we got waiting there? 71. So with that logic, we could actually have two trains on this circuit. There we go. Tea consumed. You can probably hear every bit of that. But uh, yeah, tea has been consumed Tea is the backbone of every company I ever build. So uh, you've always got to have a cup of tea on the go. Right, so... I do like not having any loan interest to pay. That's That does make a nice change. What have we got here? So we're going to 110, so it's not quite got enough for 260. Uh, two trains filled with 60, but... That would max it out, wouldn't it? Hmm... Hmm. Yes, right, well, I'll tell you what, when we've made this delivery, how much food have we got there? Have we got, yeah, we've got nearly 30. You guys are very slow, aren't you? That's, uh, that's something we're going to learn early on, is the fact that these trucks are very slow. How much food does London actually need? That's the point. So it needs 221. Right, well, we're not going to be able to do that, are we? Right, there we go. Yeah, lovely. Right, okay. So with this, what we're going to do is we're going to do what we did on the last series. Exactly the same. We're going to build a, a loop. There we go. Loop in progress. Build that loop to there. That's lovely. Level crossing behaving itself. Build it through there. Are you behaving yourself? Yes, you are. Yep, you're going to behave yourself as well. Excellent. And we'll, we'll build you into there. Right, you can undo 50, 55. But that's not an issue, is it, really? Because let's face it, it uh, our trains cannot do 55, so it's fine. And you're going to be to there. Lovely. Oh, hang on. Oh, that, that is an issue. Right, hang on, hang on. Right, I can rectify this. There we go. Off you pop. Yeah, that, that sort of was my fault. Never mind. Can we... Yeah, there we go. Right, he's on the move. What I will do as well is uh, is put a signal just before each level crossing. Which, obviously, uh, we can't do on this particular line yet, because this train's still coming down it. We don't want to cause the same issue again, do we? There we go. Another signal. Another signal. Through you go. And another signal. Lovely. So we do just need to duplicate this train. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow 5 million... And, uh, and duplicate the train. There we go. Obviously pay back one and a half. 
going to try and do it without maxing out the loan. Now, what? let's just max out the loan, which I said I wasn't going to max out. So we've got 10 million. 10 million. Yeah, I'm going to try and, and be responsible and earn money without having to sit there with loan being paid every month. You know, loads of money going out. It's not what you need, is it? We're also going to make use of the timetable, hopefully, the timetable feature to uh, for our passenger services. That will be absolutely brilliant. See, already for like things like the West Coast, you could have, you know, like or the East Coast. Sorry, you could do London next stop York. And then Peterborough for Peterborough to Leeds. You know, so Leeds, Peterborough, London, Peterborough, Leeds. They could stop there and then the York services could be next stop London. That'd be fantastic. Same again on the West Coast. Uh, obviously, Birmingham to London will be stoppers to Northampton because of the Northampton Loop. But obviously, if you're going up towards Edinburgh or, you could, or Glasgow, you could go via Birmingham. And then anything for Manchester could go straight up the Trent Valley. That'd be awesome. There's, you know, there's so many things that we could do. Of course, it's Birmingham next stop Preston, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, it's one of them. We could also sort of create a fake town here for, like, Stafford, so that things could all stop at Stafford. You know, there's, there's, there's a lot that we could do. Right, okay, have we, uh, oh, trains just made a drop-off, lovely. We pay a bit more loan. Are we, uh, are we taking food? Yes, we are. Right. Oh, no, we are losing food. Right, okay. Well, uh, we'll put a warehouse on there. So that, uh, that is behaving now. We're going to need more wagons. How many wagons have we got? Ten? Well, we're going to need another ten. There we go. One, two, three. Yeah, lovely. We're going to need another tank, so if you look, we've got 80 waiting. And 20 wagons can only carry 80 of food, and there's another train just arriving. So, yeah, there's this is a problem. Have we actually got any food to London yet? Yes, we have. Two loaves of bread have been delivered to London. Does anyone else... Oh, Oxford could use some food. Southampton could use some food. I can't actually see any more food processing plants down here, so yeah, this is uh, this is pretty awesome. We've got all these farms around. Yeah, we could make a big thing out of this. So this will be uh, South England, Southern England distribution. Hub. There we go. The Southern England Distribution Hub. One platform with one train. There we go. Repay another another million. How are we? Oh, we're still there. Still full. It's a shame you can't actually set your route up so that if that empties there, but it just turns around and goes back again. You know, it seems a waste of time having to go all the way around London for the sake of, you know, just, just that stop. But we want to cover everything, don't we? Are we actually making any money on this? All right, that other mon the, uh, the other map, the other map, the other route, this route, the food route is not making money. So what we're going to do, we're going to borrow another 500, yep, because we've got 80 waiting there, 85 still. Five more, five more, there we go. Do you know what, we're going to go for, go for 10 more, 15 more, 20 more. We've now got 80 vehicles on this, have we? No, 40 vehicles, come on Joe, basic maths. Basic maths. 
See, ideally we should transport that by train, but that would then defeat the idea of a, a Southern England goods hub. Now I want you all to decide, because we're going to have a, Scot, uh, a Scotland distribution hub, and then a Central England distribution hub. Or we might have to have one for Newcastle and Middlesbrough. You know, sort of maybe around Leeds, that could be... Yeah, that could be lorries, couldn't it? Something around Leeds, Sheffield. Uh, I'd like you to all come up with some great ideas in the comments section. Obviously, this Southern England could do to Gloucester, Oxford, Northampton, Peterborough even. Uh, Leeds, that, that could be like the Northern England distribution hub. But yeah, for the Northern England and the Scottish one, I want you to come up with some ideas as to where, uh, where that distribution hub could go. Pop them in the comments. So that I can see that. And uh, and we'll have a nosy in the future. Obviously it won't be the next episode. Because we've got a lot to do before then haven't we. We've got lots of expansion in the south to do first. As I say I'd like to get. Ideally. London. Uh, sort of commuter. Commuter trains done. To sort of expand London a bit. And then we'll work on the north of England. Uh, in the future. Right, so we've got that going. Have we got any sort of forest? No. Okay. We've got a sawmill anywhere, because that's a machines factory. We could do with a sawmill. I'm not seeing one. Tell you what we'll do. We'll uh, we'll cheat. Who's supplying you? The Glasgow and the Northampton sawmill. Oh, he's there. Right, okay. And who's supplying you? Oxford Forest. Which is, I can't see Oxford Forest, the Swindon Forest. Oh, Oxford Forest is in Swindon. Sensible. Right. So obviously we could get some sort of train running to Northampton and then down to there. That would be, that would be easy enough to do. Where's the steel mill? Where are you coming from in terms of the uh, Sheffield and Stirling? So obviously it will be Sheffield, won't it? That could be a problem. We might need to get the main line running first. Before we can start doing that. Yes. Yes, right, okay. That's, that's fine. I mean, we could run it by train to London, couldn't we? And just have it, everything coming out of here. No, 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 no. Right, okay, so let's get some logs going. I realise we're, uh, I mean, these routes, we can all change these routes later, can't we, if it, uh, if it messes up the uh, the other thing, the, uh, the passenger routes. When we get passenger routes running, yeah, we can, right, hang on, let's just hold M, hold shift even, there we go. And we'll have another one up at Northampton. Right, borrow a bit of cash. There we go. How about if we do the same technique last as we did last time? Just click and drag. Stick it on there and see what happens. Oh, right, okay. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, we're, we're very much... I think I've just crashed the game. Is it because it's trying to build a bridge or something? The bridges do... Oh, there we go. Right. Yes, it is. It is trying to build a bridge. Right, there we go. What are you colliding with? As far as I can see, just a bit of road. And that. What if I press M? No. You're not for it, are you? Right, okay. Well, we'll set off in this direction. Tell you what, we'll avoid, we'll even avoid this sort of farm. We'll go around the edge to make it look a bit more... A bit more normal. There we go. Right, over the top. Bit of a tunnel. Now, how about you go to there and behave yourself? Excellent. And we'll even do... We'll keep that bridge in. I like that bridge. There we go. That's lovely. Right, keep that. How much are you going to cost? It's within our, uh, our remit. Right, I said we were having one depot. That's an annoyance. I feel like I've shafted myself there with that one. Yeah, you've, you've not thought that through, have you? Right. That 
that still classes as one depot, doesn't it? Because it's like one... Hang on, are we... Are we... Is that working together? Yeah, that, that classes as one shed. I would say. Like that. There we go. But you can come out both ends. My genius knows no bound. I didn't know you could stick them together like that. But that is what we're doing. Right. We'll go with 15 until there. Then we'll just sort of build that. Again, this line will be deleted soon. There. Or maybe it won't be deleted, I don't know. Maybe we'll uh, we'll actually do something with it, who knows? Right, Swindon, Northampton. So this will be the train. Northampton, logs. That'll do. Out of this end of the depot. Have we got enough cash? Let's have a look. So that's going to be, yeah, so that's... Powerful locomotive. Uh, right, how can we carry logs? Logs can be carried on a flatbed wagon. But that's not going to work. Right, okay. How's, uh, right, three plank covered tank wagon. I'm going to go for a couple of them. Right, that is a problem. Have we... Right, we've not maxed our loan out. We've maxed our loan out. This is exactly what I said we weren't going to do. Right, how many can you carry? Seven. Right, we'll go with that. Northampton Locks. Make it so. How's the food looking in London? 83 out of 290. Excellent. See, this is just one of them. Oh my lord, we're in 1854 already. How did that happen? We've been going four years already, people. That's, uh, that's quite insane. Oh wow, we've got a tunnel on here. See, if we're only having one depot, this is going to be... I mean, this could just be to the log place. This could be the access line. That if we need to send something there, it, you know... It, some train lines do have not an awful lot of trains running up and down them, do they? It's entirely plausible. I mean, we've already got 124 logs waiting. And this can only carry 70, which is a bit of an issue. does look good, doesn't it? looks absolutely fantastic. So that's going to be covered, I'm assuming, when we put the logs in there. Oh, brilliant! The logs actually sit in there. That's fantastic. I think we might have found my new favourite goods wagon. Because obviously then the grain would sit in there as well, wouldn't it? This probably happened in the last series, because I don't think I've downloaded any new wagons at all since we last saw each other. Not like 1850 wagons. I've downloaded a couple of modern day freight wagons uh, since the last episode of Hull. Speaking of which, have we actually got Hull? No, we haven't. Oh, I was going to say we could go to Hull again. Relive old times. That'd have been good. Right, well, do you know what? I think we've made a really positive start there. We are actually making cash, which is a good thing. Uh, considering all that money that we've spent there on investments, we are still making money. If we hadn't have invested, we'd have been 800 grand up, which is good. So yeah, in the next episode, we are going to continue expanding uh, to, uh, to meet our demands of uh, London. Because as I say, London is the centre of the universe. We will also, at some stage, move on to Passenger. But it's one of those. I don't want to rush things. I don't want to do too much too soon. 
so yeah, we will uh, we'll see how we get on. Thank you so so much for watching, everybody. If you have enjoyed today's video, do click that like button. It's always appreciated. And if you are excited for this series, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with. Uh, it's going to be brilliant, isn't it? This is going to be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so so much to everybody who suggested Race to the North. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be awesome. Come on, make some money. Well, hey, nearly one and a half million. Rightio, hopefully. I'll uh, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.